Hi. Now for this question, we've got to show that the transformation y equals xv transforms the equation 4x squared d2y by dx squared minus 8x times dy dx plus 8 plus 4x squared times y equals x to the 4, which is equation 1, into this equation here, 4 times d2v by dx squared plus 4v equaling x, equation 2. And this is for six marks. So if you'd like to try this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment then to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check the answer out. Or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's just put down this transformation. That is that if y equals x times v. Well, in order to get our result here, what I notice is that it hasn't got any y's in. So I'm going to need to find expressions for d2y by dx squared and dy by dx from y equals xv. And then I'm going to substitute them into here and hopefully we'll get this result. OK, so that's going to be my method. So from here, let's just call this equation, say, A. We're going to need it later on. Now, to get dy by dx, I need to differentiate this with respect to x. So, therefore, differentiating y with respect to x gives us dy dx. And to differentiate xv, I'm going to need to use the product rule. So, if we take x and we multiply the differential of v with respect to x, that would be dv dx and then plus, and if we take the v now and multiply by the differential of x with respect to x, well that's going to be 1. And cleaning this up, we end up with then x dv by dx plus v. And I'll call this b, OK? Next, I will need to find d2y by dx squared, and I can do that by differentiating this with respect to x. So if I differentiate dy by dx with respect to x, we get d2y by dx squared. And then for this term here, I'm going to need to use the product rule. So if I take the x, multiply it now by the differential of dv by dx with respect to x, which is going to be d squared v by dx squared. And then we'll have plus, and then I take the dv by dx and multiply this with the differential of x with respect to x, which is just 1. And then plus, and we differentiate v now with respect to x, and we get dv by dx. And cleaning this up gives us x times d squared v by dx squared. And we've got dv dx plus another dv dx. So it's going to be plus 2 dv by dx. And I'll call this c. So let's just section this off, OK? So we'll come down there and there. And uh, we'll just draw a dotted line across the bottom here. So we now can just substitute these values back into our original equation up here, OK? So we'll just say that. We'll say sub A, B, and C, OK, into 1, OK? Now, if we do that, then what do we got? We've got 4x squared multiplied by d2y by dx squared which is this result here. So just put some square brackets up here and we've got x d squared v by dx squared plus 2 dv dx. And we'll complete that bracket there. All right. And then we've got minus 8x times dy by dx and dy dx is what we have here. So that will be x 
dv dx plus v. Okay, and then we've got plus 8 plus 4x squared times y. y we know is xv, xv there, and it equals x to the power 4. So that's that done. Now we just need to expand out our bracket. So we'll come over here. This looks like it's going to be quite long. So we're going to have 4x cubed, 4x cubed, d2v by dx squared. And then 4x squared times 2dv dx is going to give us plus 8x squared, dv by dx. Now, going on to this bracket, here we end up with minus 8x squared dv by dx. And then minus 8x times v is going to be minus 8xv. And now we come on to this bracket, 8xv then when we expand this one. And plus 4x cubed v, 4x cubed v. And this equals x to the power 4. So cleaning this up, what do we end up with? Well, we've got one of these terms. So that's 4x cubed d squared v by dx squared. Then we've got these two terms here. They cancel one another out, as do these two terms. And so we're just left then with plus 4x cubed v equals x to the power 4. So this is looking good because all I need to do now is just divide through by x cubed. x cubed goes into that term there with 1 into that once and into this x times. So it follows then from this that we've got what we require for d2v by dx squared plus 4v equals x. All right?